Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? Mama is off, out, and about tonight, so it's supper for one. Do you ever find yourself just supper for one? Oh, y'all look a little smudgy. Let me clean off you glasses just a little bit. Maybe I touched it when I said. Let me clean off my glasses. Maybe they're smudgy. <laughs> Hope y'all having a great Monday. Hope you're having a good Juneteenth. Hope you're enjoying yourself today. Hope you're doing something to make a few memories and enjoy yourself. So, I'm going to pick several for one. Let's go down here to this chore board and see what I'm up to. I'm having barbecue nachos. Here's my nachos. Just got those out of the microwave because I just like to heat them up just a little bit. I'm having barbecue chicken. That chicken's hot and I put a little bit of brown sugar in there. I give out two tablespoons. And to that two tablespoons, I'm going to add a little bit of sweet baby rays. Now, I'm not going to heat this. Um, just because the chicken's so hot, it will be fine. And I'm just going to take my fork and I'm going to mash all that up. Because that chicken is hot. It's cooked chicken. Cooked chicken. The brown sugar, just give it a little flavor. Of course, y'all know Sweet Baby Ray's. It's sweet. Um, but it's good. It just makes it like a chicken barbecue pulled chicken. And what deliciousness there is. Folks, I promise you, just before I touched go live, the sun popped out. I think y'all are good luck. Uh, because it had been not a ray of sunshine all day. It had been a gloomy, read a book, just stay in kind of day. And now the sun's out, and I'm going to go out and enjoy a little bit of it as soon as we get through with supper. Um... This is something Mama would eat if she were here. She wouldn't want any jalapenos. Now, I'm going to put a few on mine. But you just barbecue your chicken up like that. See, and then all that sugar melted. Look, and that's just beautiful. That will be enough for a time or two. Now, I'm just going to take this tomato. I've washed it. And I'm going to just dice it up. It's got a few spots on it. A few imperfections here on this end. And I'm just going to leave them. I ain't going to bother with them. I ain't gonna eat them, but I just ain't gonna bother with that whole end, is what I'm saying. I don't say John wouldn't even cut a spot off a tomato. No, I'm not, I'm going to, I'm just using the good end. Um, because they're not rotted, they're just bug bites or something. Um, so I'm just gonna leave the whole end. Might plant that end. Might see if I can have many, many more tomatoes out of that one end. I ain't going to with him. Let's put him over there. These are those beautiful little grape tomatoes. And I'm just going to quarter them up. And uh, see what I can do. I'm trying to get all this prep done before my chicken gets too cold. Before my, my nachos get too cold. I like them a little warm. Do y'all like warm nachos or cold nachos? Some people say, what do you mean warm? I mean warm out of the microwave. You know, when you go to a Mexican restaurant and they first bring them out, they're usually nice and warm. I like that. So what y'all been up to today? Is it raining where you're at? I've heard several people talking about rainy, rainy conditions. The, I'm not complaining, let me tell you. The only thing I'm a little concerned with uh, about the rain is it's supposed to be for four or five days here. Every day they're given quite a bit of rain. And, you know, one or two days, and then I'm, like, looking for some sunshine. If it's like today, we may have to find ourselves something to do. Um, but if it's like this evening, it's beautiful sunshine out there. So it's saying, like, 50 to 60% chance here. The good Lord knows what we need, and we'll accept whatever he gives us. It's what my granny always tells me. It's what my mama always says. We must need it or we wouldn't be getting it. If we don't need it now, we might need it another day. And that's fair. That's fair to think that way because we're getting it. Uh, we need it because we've not had any good rain. The crops need rain. The hay needs rain. Now, it don't need rain once you cut it, but it needs a little bit to get there. A lot of people say cut their hay here and they're already on second cutting, they call it. Uh, and we're, we're trying to grow some for second cut. So we'll see what we get. Whatever we get, what we'll take. But I'm just wondering myself 
what is it going to bring? Now, this is a good sweet onion. That's green onion that I just chopped. Can y'all see? And this is a good Vidalia sweet onion or sweet Texas or whatever. I tend to call them all Vidalia, kind of like Kleenex. You ever see anybody tell you to hand them a Kleenex in it? They don't look at the box. They don't. The Kleenex is a brand name. But everybody just calls it Kleenex, kind of like Tupperware. Every piece of plastic is definitely not Tupperware. But people will say to you, bring it in some Tupperware bowl or something. Or I always put that in Tupperware and they're using maybe Glad or something else, but they call it all Tupperware. You look at there. Maggie's running around looking for Mama. She knows we're recording. And she knows, use it this time when I'm sitting here, Mama's sitting there or, or over there. So Maggie's got herself all, she's been kind of, Mama's not here been here today and she's been like that off and on today. All right, folks, we're done. That prep went hard. Look here, I've got my nachos. Come right down here to this plate. I've got my little bit of barbecue chicken here. On top I'm gonna to put, look at that. I want a little chicken with the whole meal. I still got enough for a sandwich for lunch. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of sour cream Mix him in good, and on top he goes. Is that good so far? What are y'all thinking? Now, Mama would be right with this project up until this point. Maggie, what are you looking for, honey? Your mama, she's out with the girls. And she left you here. I know you're a girl. These are jalapenos. Pickled jalapenos, nevertheless. I've got a jalapeno plant out front. It ain't nowhere near Mama's other peppers. But I do have one out there. And um, I'm hoping to get some good fresh jalapenos. Now I'm going to take this whole little veggie scene here. And we're just going to introduce it to the whole pile. Uh-huh. We did it. Right there. We did it. This is some salsa that I made three weeks ago. It still tastes good. Uh, I didn't can it. I just put it in here. And uh, let's see what it's looking like in here. Needs stirred a little bit. Anytime Mama's not home, Mama is home with Maggie so much. Um, if Mama's not here, she gets nervous. And that's one of the reasons. If we're not here, we have somebody come by and stay with her. We have super duper family who loved her, and they'll say, well, we'll come out and stay with Maggie. So, uh, 99999 percent of the time, there's somebody here with her. Because she's at that age, she don't want to be left alone. So, uh, we don't have to leave her. There it is, folks, just like downtown. You see that little bit of jalapeno there, fresh tomatoes, this ain't out of our garden yet. I wish it was. I'm ready for it. And barbecue chicken on nachos. That's gonna be a good dinner for me tonight, supper. Oh, uh, I mean, that's simple. And your kids will love it. You can set up a bar with this. Uh, put all your tomatoes, your onions, different kinds of onions, your jalapenos, your barbecue chicken. You might even throw a little barbecue beef in there. Or maybe just none. Maybe veggies. And uh, just say, grab you a plate of nachos, put them in the microwave, then fill it up. Sour cream. You can put different kinds of salsa. All that kind of stuff. I'm going to put some fresh grated cheese on mine right now. You want to fix up some fresh grated cheese for your folks? This is a good thing to do. So right on top is this freshly grated cheese right out of this bag. It's the only way to grate cheese, folks. I grate it every once in a while, but I don't have a lot of fresh block cheese um, at my disposal. We can go to another store and get it, but Block cheese. It's not something we get a lot of. Did y'all get your sweet tea this morning from y'all's? I think it's gone. I really do. I think the pictures are gone. I'm not sure if the pictures are gone. Let me take it back. Um, I've not been here all day to, to analyze, but I think maybe the tea might have sold out. But I don't know if the picture's all there or not. You'll find out if you go to their site. But anyhow, that launched today. We showed you a sneak peek yesterday because I know I wasn't going to be here today to do it. Now, with the cheese on. It ain't as pretty with the cheese, is it? The tomatoes and the green onions was prettier. 
Let's bless it, folks, and then we're going to snack on it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for nourishing our bodies with it, to the Lord, and we just pray that you'll be with our country, be with our nation, and don't be with each and every one that's out there that has prayer requests. Be with the hurt and be with the need, dear Lord, in your precious name we pray. Amen. All right, folks, let's give it a whirl. I guess I can use my chicken fork. All right, let's load this up one. So let's put a little bit of sauce on here. There's already a little bit of onion. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this. There's the sour cream. And that's the barbecue chicken coming up there. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. And here's the jalapeno right on top there. I love this fresh tomatoes and onions and deliciousness. That's a big bite. Don't y'all like it? Mmm. Mmm. I did it. Chips are warm. Chicken's warm. I made it in time. I was rushing. Look at that. Mm-hmm. In the summertime especially, but I, I would do this in the winter too. This is just warm enough to be a good warm supper, but yet it's not too hot. And it was not, I didn't have to fix two or three sides or fix a bunch of stuff. This is goodness, and it's easy for supper. Do you see this dog? Do y'all see this dog? Maggie, honey, what's wrong? Huh? Jesus, what's wrong? Our mommy's missing, and you ain't doing a thing about it. You're sitting there talking to your friends and eating nachos, and I'm looking everywhere for her. I read a thing one time about dogs. Um, you know, when you leave, they don't know that you're coming back, and they don't know that you'll be back in an hour. They don't know you'll be back in a, a two hours. So the whole time for them, you're gone, and they'll never see you again. What a horrible thought. So, we try to work with Maggie in a way that if Mama doesn't be gone, I'll be here or we'll have somebody here. Um, and we have, like I said, so many friends who say, I'll stop by and take care of Maggie. One of them said, I'll be there Monday. I said, no, I'm here on Monday. You all can just, you know, if you'll come by Tuesday. So, Maggie's well taken care of. She's never really scared. She gets so nervous. Um, I can see her on the camera if we're not home and pace, 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 pace. I leave some music playing for her lightly. Uh, she still don't like that. I mean, she still knows she's here by herself. She has to check in. If me and Mama both are at home, she will make her little rounds every hour or so if it's quiet in the house and see where we are, what we're doing, if we're okay. And then she goes back to her bed and she's perfectly content. She loves the UPS driver. So he came today. So that was the thrill of her day. She was so excited. And he brought her a treat. So that just, that distracted her for a while. But she's had about three or four good pacing spells today looking for her mama, because mama's here. Mama is here all the time with her. And um, she can't take it when mama's not here. Mm -mm -mm. That chicken, hmm. I don't remember when I fixed it. Mama boiled it. And we used it for something else. So it was just left over. And I just hated it. Put the little bit of, a um, little bit of brown sugar on it to sweeten it just a little bit. And then I put that uh, barbecue, sauce on it, barbecue sauce on it, which was a little bit sweet. I ain't made it delicious too. So what are y'all eating today?
What have you done today? Job lines it's the 19th of June. June's about over. Today is Juneteenth. Federal holiday for me. What are y'all doing today? Yummy. Those look so good. Vicky, they are good. Mama out with a friend. Yep, Trace says Mama's out with the girls. She will be all week. She'll be gone all week. I told y'all the other day, this is a busy week for Mama. Mama's always got plans, but sometimes they pile up. And she loves it. Nothing thrills Mama more than to have somewhere to go and something to do with her group of friends. And I don't, can't express to you how wonderful I feel about that. I am so thankful that she's able, first of all, she's healthy and able to go. Second of all, that she's got such a good group of Christian friends that she can run around with and feel so comfortable and they're so good to each other and they call and they talk and, and it's just a wonderful situation. And that we're not under some kind of lockdown or something bad going on that she can't enjoy. You know, for two years, mm, COVID was kind of changed everything. And it still has changed a lot of things. And uh, people, the new norm, I guess, is where we are now. Um, but it's not the same. It's not the same. And it's still out there, folks. I mean, people, I know people who are right now that's got it. In June. But, it is getting more manageable, but people are still dying from it. So what do you do? How do you know? How do you know how to, it affects different people so differently. It's not like one thing, and you're like, oh, well, I'll just do this. It ain't working that way. You can't hear me. Mike. Is anybody having trouble hearing me? Mike says he can't hear. I have my volume on full. It has been. It's not mama's good to get out with her friends. I'm happy for you. Yes, it's wonderful to get out with her friends. I thought it was me. Mary, can't you hear me either? Folks, let me readjust. Y'all make me nervous. Let's see. Microphone plugged in. The microphone is on. Hi, John. Chicken gizzards here tonight. Mary, that's something I've never had, but I would be willing to try. I think I would enjoy them. I like the livers. Can y'all not hear me? I hear you. Thank you, Tanya. I don't know, folks. Sometimes... I don't do a thing, and then other people say, yeah, I hear you, and other people say, no, I can't hear you. I don't know. Is it the internet? I hear you just fine. Thank you, Lou Ellen. Thank you so much. Hey, Rebecca. Rebecca and Daryl is watching. Thank you. Hey, Barbara Ray. How are you? Can you hear me? That's barbecue sauce. You sh my. Sweet and spicy. This is honey barbecue sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's Gourmet. I think there is a sweet and spicy Sweet Baby Ray's. You all know Mama ain't going to do that. I do jalapenos to make mine a little extra spicy and maybe some Frank's hot sauce. I can hear you fine, Jill. Good. Some people are having trouble. Um, if you are, let me know. And anything I can do on my end, I'm glad to do it. I just don't know what I can do sometimes. I have had you all say it. And the microphone might be plugged up. I have you had you set and mine be turned down. I don't know if that helps, if that hinders the microphone or just the volume, but I always turn it up. I don't know. Sounds good. Thank you. Could be their internet. Okay, Carol, thanks. I can hear you, Brenda. Okay, so several are hearing me. Now that right there looks like a bright, bright, bite, doesn't it? Mary, it's been cool here, too. It was on like 75 or something. 
sometimes when you come on live, it comes up as muted, so I have to hit the button. Susan, I have that on a lot of mine too. A lot of times when I'm watching a video, they're muted. I have to go down and find, if you touch down here, there's a little, well, it looks like a speaker, an old timey speaker. And they'll have an X that you touch it and hear all of a sudden you can hear them. I don't know what it is. It's strange. Sometimes it's stranger than others. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. I hear you great. I only have 5% hearing. Am I right? Okay, Sherry, Sherry, you can hear us good. Chicken salad for tonight. Oh, Joe, and that sounds wonderful. I make chicken salad for the church, but I also make another one for here. I don't know if I made it for y'all or not, but I make two or three different kinds. The one I like to make, just for personal here, it has a little bit of Dijon mustard. Good. Very good. I say mama will eat at some fancy place tonight. Not real fancy, but you know. Some, they're out and about. I'm sure they'll go to somewhere, some chain place, and I'll talk to her later and she'll tell me, I'm sure, all about it. Good evening, looks yummy. Cindy, thank you, it is good. It's good. When you live alone or when you are alone, because maybe your friends or whoever, or your, whoever you live with are gone for the day, there's meals you can prepare I know a lot of times your team say, I just ain't gonna fix nothing. I'll just eat cereal, which is cereal's fine. But if you're not preparing you a meal two or at least two times a week, you need to think about it and start getting you some vegetables and some hot food. Make you a meatloaf, make you some small portion stuff. Um, maybe just fry a pork chop. Um, if you can have pork chops. If you can't, whatever you can have, try to put a little effort into Preparing it, not just saying, I'm just one, or there's just two of them I'm not going to cook. I know it's a problem, but you still need to eat. Hello, chicken livers. Oh, D, that sounds wonderful. You know, we had some good ones at the original KFC in Corbin. If you live in this area, Corbin, Kentucky, original KFC does have them. And they're good. Mm -mm, Barbara. <laughs> Wendy's chili in the can, so they're selling it in the stores. A lot of people love Wendy's chili. My dad liked Wendy's chili. I never was a connoisseur because they put them green peppers in it. I don't like hot green peppers. I don't mind cold raw ones on a sandwich. Like at Subway, I like a good green pepper on my sandwich or on a pimento cheese sandwich. Love that. But when you heat them, it changes the taste of them for me. I first noticed it on pizzas, then I noticed it in soups or chili, meatloaf. I don't want chi I don't want green peppers in my meatloaf. Mm -mm. I don't like the hot, the heated green pepper and that's all I taste. If I have meat, uh, green peppers on a pizza, then it's a green pepper pizza. I don't care for it. If I have it in meatloaf, it's a green pepper meatloaf. I don't care for it. A hundred degrees, Dole. What do you add? It's great in the can, Clara said. Where is Mama tonight? She is out with her girls. 
I like Wendy's chili in their Baconator. Good times, Bridget says. I haven't had the Baconator. Is the Baconator a burger? I don't like Wendy's chili either. Karen, I, I think I might would be okay with it if it wasn't for the green peppers. I know they're famous for their chili. And a lot of people like it. So it's got to be good. It's just me that don't like it. I never used to like cooked green peppers, but as I got older, I started liking them. I eat them raw too. Linda, I'm kind of the opposite. I used to would eat like stuffed bell peppers. I would eat the pepper. Um, but now I wouldn't. Don't think. I did the, the sweet ones that we stuffed and fixed. Those were good. Windy chili over their baked potatoes. Now that might be better. Love green peppers and meatloaf and on pizza. We all like different foods. Yes, Julie, that's true. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just different. Some people don't like onions. Fried pork chops, Louise. Oh. If you want to test your friendship or your work relationships, try to get a group at work together to order pizza. It's serious. If you just order pizza and bring it in, people just grabs a slice, that's one thing. But if you say, let's order a pizza, what do y'all want on it? I'll put it this way, last time we tried that, I ended up ordering a hamburger. i never seen so many connoisseurs of pizza etiquette. Some liked the crust at one place, but they didn't like the crust at the other place. Not to even get into the thin, thick, or hand-tossed No peppers, no onions, don't like cheese, no pepperonis, no sausage. I said, what are you going on? Just cheese? No, I don't like cheese. Oh. Or we'll do half and half. It was the craziest trying to order pizza with about six people I ever did in my life. If you ain't tried it. I don't recommend it. You know who you are. Just saying. You know who you are when you are the person who doesn't like the pizza dough at one place, but you do like the pizza dough at the other place. But at the place where you like the pizza dough, you don't like their sauce as good as you do at the other place with the pizza dough you don't care for. I thought it all came out of the same can. I said, I've never really tasted it just this crust or just the sauce. True story. At one point, I thought we had it. We was down to cheese and pepperoni. Just somebody said, oh, I thought you was ordering from the other place. If that's the place you're going, no, I don't like their crust. None of it? Hamburger for me and fries, thank you. It got complicated in a hurry.
Yeah, then one don't want pizza, son, you're right. Charlotte says she is fine. Are you talking about mom? Mama's fine. Mama's better than fine. Mama's tickled to death. Mama's running the roads. Maggie's hungry. That's why she's circling the kitchen. No, Mary, she's not. No, Mary. It ain't hunger. You see her bow. It runneth over. She wouldn't eat part. She don't get a lot of table food. She's not in here for the table food. And she's calmed down now. Um, she won't have another one of those spells until after I bring her in. Tonight, and Mama's not in here, she'll have another one of them. And she's not circling the kitchen. It may appear that way. It's the whole house. Every room. It's real. She'll run to Mama's bedroom. Mama's bathroom. Down the hall. In the office. Out on the sunroom. In the laundry room to the front door. Now she did come to the kitchen a couple of times, but that's because she knows when I'm sitting here talking to this um, phone up on this stand, Mama's in here, and Mackie knows that. So yeah, it's the whole house. It's a whole house search. Um, it it's intense. It's pitiful. Um, if, if she sees Mama go out the door to the garage, then she'll go and lay in front of the garage door. And then like this week where Mama's going to be in and out a lot, or actually out more than in, it'll be, um, be a whole week of that. And then next week, Mama will pay for it. Mama will pay next week. How you say. Maggie will literally lay on her feet when she's sitting in her chair. Maggie will literally lay at her bed. It's like, I ain't letting her get away again. You snuck out of here once. You won't make it again. When I come in from work after being gone all day, Mama says she knows about the time she starts pacing, pacing. And then she meets me at the door and she goes crazy. And she follows me. She leads me to Mama. Wherever Mama is, I have to check in with Mama before she'll quit barking and hollering. Me. Like, he's home, he's home, he's back, he's back. And then just like that, once everything clears, Mama knows I'm home. She goes and lays down and she's fine. Hi, Sabrina. Hey, Bridget, sweet little Maggie Mae. Yeah, she's a doll, baby. What time is it in our country? It is 629. What kind of dog is Maggie? She's a miniature schnauzer. Golden Retriever. Oh, Katrina, we had a Golden Retriever named Lindsay. She was the best Golden Retriever. She was an outside dog. She was a baby. We loved Lindsay. And uh, just such a smart dog. And play, ran. We probably went through 52 million, 100,000 tennis balls. I was buying tennis balls every time I went to the walk. Dogs and cats know more than people think. They do. And they know. Mikey knows if Mama's not feeling good. Uh, she'll act similar if Mama's not feeling good. If Mama goes and lays down, Maggie will make a bunch of trips back there to check on her. Or, And if Mama's outside, you can watch Maggie. It's funny. I love to watch her. If Mama's in the garden, down at the raised bed, 
Maggie will come out with her and she'll stay down there a while and then she'll start venturing off. And she'll get down to the edge of the yard or she'll come around this way to the yard. And then she's like, oh, I better check on mama. And she'll run back to mama, stay a few minutes, then she'll start to do the same pattern. She'll come up around the side and then she'll run back and check on mama. Now I'm sitting out there and she don't come and check on me. But if mama ain't out there, then she does me the same way. She comes to me, ventures off, does her thing, and then she comes to me. It's weird. She knows, you know. She's very in tune. I've have I have had a dog all my life. Loved it. Yes, we have two. Uh, Sarita. We have never <laughs> Bridget, that may have been an exaggeration. Be to me a one hundred thousand. Could have been a slight exaggeration. But let's just say we went through a bunch of bunch of tennis balls. And we hit them with a lawnmower and my dad would say, Don't bring one more tennis ball on this property. Then he would say the next week, She's lost her ball. You're gonna have to get her some more balls. I was out there the other day, they ain't about one out there. She would carry them off in the field. You'd find them in the hay field. She would carry them. I mean, I was buying them the tubes or the bags of them every month or two. It was like, oh, she's out of those. She's the one there, one of them. Uh, she'd carry them to the neighbor's house and ask them to play, and then she'd drop them and of course, they'd pick them up and throw them in the garbage because it was nasty tennis balls. Uh, you'd find them in the ditches. Sometimes if I couldn't find one, I'd go out and scavenge up one somewhere. You could usually could find them under a tree where she was laying or something because she ran the farm. She was all over the farm. So wherever she went, she had one in her mouth. And when she got ready to drop it to find something else, then she just dropped it and go on. My son had a red golden retriever named Simon. Aw, Suzanne. I love golden retrievers. I love all dogs. I love all dogs. Um, every once in a while, them little ones that yap a lot. I still love them. But I'm like, oh, hush. Maggie's not big on barking. But when she gets started, you can't stop her. Thank you, Susan. Charles says 6.30. 6.33 here now, Charles. Beth, exactly. Separation anxiety, that's what Maggie has. Didn't always have it. Didn't always have it. Used to love to ride. Used to, you could say, you want to go for a ride, and she would jump up and bounce, and she'd go get in the vehicle, and she was up in the window, and she would paint pictures on the back glass with her little nose. Loved every minute of it. And you'd pull in and she'd jump out of the vehicle. As she got older, I noticed, you know, we'd take her for a ride and she'd just lay. She didn't like the motion. I don't know if it was car sick or what. Um, and then the last few times we've taken her, like for grooming or to the vet or anything, it's a crime. Don't want to go. Don't want to get in the vehicle. Don't want to get out of the vehicle when you get there. She's changed a lot in her older age. But like I've told you, she's... We got her as a rescue. Not sure of her exact age. She don't have any papers or anything, but I don't care about that. Um, let's see. Five, six, seven, seven. We've had her over eight years. And when I took her to the vet the first time, he said she was probably seven or eight then. We had her two years before dad passed. Dad's been passed six years. So time flies, time flies. So she's 15. I'm saying solid 15, could be 16. So if she wants to be a little contrary, okay. She wants to pace, okay. Um, I can 
distract her and keep her from pacing and get so anxious when I'm here. Uh, she just started that whenever we went on, but now she's laying on her bed looking around. She's okay. Uh, she's assumed probably that mom was out in the garden or something. I lost one of my dogs. Oh. oh, Linda. Linda, prayers for you. We lost one 21 years ago. 2004. No, six. 19, 19 years ago. I was doing backwards math. And uh, Sierra, she's just like, I mean, we still talk about her. Um, we had her for 10 years. She was a rescue as well. Linda, prayers for you. That's, that's so sad. They're fur babies. They are your family. I don't care what anybody says. If if they say different, they've never loved a dog uh, or a pet, a cat, any animal. I mean, I even feel sorry for the skunks and the raccoons and the the squirrels, all those, I, I worry about nature. That's the reason I crush the cans and I don't want, I've seen videos where little coons, raccoons, and have got their heads stuck in a can. Come on people, cans are not a part of nature. When we put them out there in nature, we gotta be a little bit more responsible. So take a little extra precaution. I'm not saying don't use them because we have to use them. I'm just saying take a little extra precaution, do your due diligence and make them as safe as you can. That's one reason I love the Tupperware's can opener. There's no sharp edges. Um, but they still can get their head in there. So I try to just crush it down. They're not that strong. I know some of y'all may not be able to, but maybe if you put it in a bag and Take a meat mallet. <laughs> I don't know. Fill it full. That would be another thing. You could, uh, if you have a can, you could fill it full of paper towels and stuff as you use them. Uh, put garbage in them just so they can't get the little heads in there. All right, folks. Mama's not here to tell me to shut up. And you're talking their ear off. So y'all know you're in danger that I'll just keep you on here and keep jammer, jabbering. Yes, I always crush your cans. Thank you, Ron. Speak clearly. Clinda, am I not? Is it my southern drawl? I can hear him fine. Might be your phone. Thank you, Gina. I'm about that far away from the microphone. Really close. John, are you tending the garden for Mama? Um... While she's gone, thank goodness the good Lord sent some rain, or I was going to go down and water the whole raised beds. She told me that. Uh, but we've had rain today, quite a bit of it. Mama's out with her friends, she's fine. Nothing's wrong with Mama. She's happy as a lark, as they say. Where did that come from? What's a lark? Isn't it a bird? You ever seen a happy lark? But we say that here. I need to research that. Happy as a lark. My granny used to say that all the time. Hi, John. I'm Kitchen and Relays Girl caught three different possums. You have to take them four miles away or they will come back. Well, that's good information. So if you've got a possum you don't want, take them four miles and they'll, that must be their territory range. But now, we've had possums here. And that can be a nuisance sometimes, but possums don't have rabies. And possums eat ticks and they'll eat snakes. So, a possum is welcome here. I don't want them homesteading and raising families like skunks. So I don't want them here either. Um, but a possum or two is not a bad thing. They do get in your garbage sometimes. Put a lid on them, but... Yes, John, keep jabbering. Love it. What the... Dana, Mama will watch this and she'll say, I thought you never was going to hush. Hi from O9 to Tennessee. Well, I need a hat feel. We're neighbors. I have a problem hearing you, Teresa. Some of y'all are, and I trust that you are. I know you're not just saying that, and some of y'all are saying not, but I don't think there's anything I can do on my end. Uh, microphone's plugged in, and I'm using it. 
and my volume is all up, which I don't know that my volume has anything to do with that. Call from Path. Do y'all know what Path is? Call from Path. I don't know. They kill chickens now. Janice, if you have chickens, that is a problem. Hello from Austin, Texas. Hey, Linda. Hi from Lubbock, Texas. Well, hello, Annabelle. Um, came in late. Where is Mama? Running cats and dogs in North Carolina. Linda, it's been running cats and dogs here, but it's been good in the gardens. And that sunshine I told y'all about, it's gone. It's back to wind and looks like it's going to storm. And she told me a while ago, uh, I won't say her name, but she'll start talking and we can't get her shut up. Um, it's going to rain tonight. it would be cool. I don't mind the cool. But she says it's going to rain some more tonight and tomorrow and the next day. That's a lot of rain. I like those a lot, but Rag Dog Kitty is the love of my life. Oh, I like a kitty too. Y'all seen our great kitty? Um, I just checked on Parker the other day. Let's see, what day was it? Thursday, Friday. Friday. He has a new home. I think he may have a new name. It's okay. Um, I said he'll always be Parker to us. But he's happy. He's with other kitties. He's with other kiddos. There's kids. Um, I reckon he's just living life large. Um, turned out he was a little hateful. <laughs> he was a little temperamental. But I think the kids and the kittens and the kid kittens that he's moved in with have got him kind of toned down a little bit. But he's alive and he's happy, I reckon. Reportedly, he's pretty happy. Parker. I forget what they said. I forget what she said the kids called it. It was a cute little name. But he's Parker. You all know him as Parker. Uh, and there's no more kittens over there. I've checked two or three times, and I've even asked around. I said, was there any more kittens showed up? And he said, nope. That was it. One little long kitten. And I said, yeah, usually where there's one, there's eight. And he said, yeah. He said, I think somebody literally dumped him out. And he said, it happens more than we know. He said, people think, well, somebody will see a kitten at the park, and there's kids here, and it'll be picked up quickly. Well, they were right. He was picked up quickly because I don't think he could have made it long. But it wasn't right what they did. If you're, you know, be responsible for these for babies, folks. I'm not here to give you a hard time, and I know all you all are. But you know, I can't understand people not taking care of their pets or chaining them out in the heat and not having them water or not food. And, come on. Hi from Kentucky here. Well, hello there, Mamie. How are you? Uh, did something happen to your fur baby? Not, no, Karen, not to mine. Um, well, we had one years ago. That we, I was talking about that a while ago, but no, Maggie's good. Uh, thank the Lord. Love dogs. Miss having one. Oh, yeah. Once you have them, and then you can't have them anymore for whatever reason. Uh, it's amazing he found home so quickly. So happy. Yeah, he he had a home that night. Katie uh, made a call somehow and said, hey, I got a kitten. Just picked up at the park. And they said, we'll be there at 4 o'clock tomorrow to get him. And they did. Uh, hey, John from um, Louisiana. Hey, Bonnie. How are you? Where is that? How do you say, uh, how do you say your city? I don't know how we're going to get that. T-H-I-B-O-D-A-U-X. Tapido? Tibido? If I hit it, if I did I probably killed it. Hey, John, hope your day is going well. It's been a wonderful day, Donald. It has been. Hey, John and Mama. Good to be here. Well, thank you for being here. 
I can hear you. Thank you. Thank you, Elsie. Hey, Patty. I hear you good. Thank you, Carletta. How are you? Pets are such comfort and compassion. Gina, pets are, and pets are a part of your family. I mean, <laughs> I don't put Maggie on the census or anything, but she is a family member. Uh, we think of her as family. We call ourselves the three of us. Mama Lou said, what are we going to get into tonight? I said, I don't know. What are you girls going to do? I said, well, I don't know what Maggie's going to do, but I'm going to do this, this, and that. So, hello, John from South Carolina. Thank you so much. Ooh, come back. You jumped just about the time I said your name, Rebecca. How are you? Hello, John and Mama. Hey, Anita. All right, folks, Mama's not here to tell me, so I want to go ahead and hush up and get on out from here. And it looks like it's going to storm out here again. We had sunshine for approximately 12 minutes at <laughs> one o'clock. I'm not seeing sunshine all day, but I did this evening right when we started. So, Buffalo, New York. Hey, Roxanne. Hey, hello, John. Hey, Frank. Nancy, Phoenix, Arizona, well, hello, Nancy. I hope y'all got your sweet tea today. Y'all's peach tea, I think it's sold out. If you haven't got any, get up there and use um, uh, coupon code JOHN, J-O-H-E in capital letters, and it comes right when you're checking out, and you'll get 10% off your everything you buy, including clothes or anything site-wide. And um, they had their new picture out today. I showed it to y'all yesterday. We've been using it for there too. And we like it. Um, somebody said, I thought you all used Tupperware only. I said, folks, we sell Tupperware. We don't have to only use anything. Uh, we do. You'll use our Tupperware picture. And we, still, we do like them. But the y'all sweet tea picture is a wonderful picture. It's good and thick. I think you're going to love it. Uh, and... They have designed it, hoping it's going to be something you pass down generation after generation. Uh, I said, I hope it lasts that long, but it is a good thick picture, and it's a nice picture, and we've been using it for several days. So pick yours up. You'll still see it and Tupperware both here because, you know, we live before Tupperware, and we live right on through, but um, no, it's no big. We're not upset or anything. Y'all have a great day. Rest of your day. It's already Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. If you didn't work today, you're going to start out on Tuesday. Then got Monday in. You're one day closer to the weekend if you're waiting for the weekend. So you all enjoy the rest of your day. Hope if the weather's okay where you are. Hope you aren't having storms or anything. And we'll go in here and get Maggie and let her run outside. Now that'll help her. If I take her outside and she gets distracted with them, uh, she gets distracted with everything. But if she sees her a couple of, I don't know, does lightning bugs come out in the rain? I ain't even noticed. She sees her a couple of lightning bugs and she can chase them around the yard or a frog. Or if she can get you get herself all tore up about a squirrel that's run through the yard, that'll distract her and that'll burn up some of her energy. And then she can come and look for Mama for about 10 minutes. And then me and her will settle down some more. Maybe watch some, a movie or something on Netflix. Is anything good on Netflix anymore? I don't know, I watch TV or Netflix or anything in a long spell. Uh, maybe I can watch Andy tonight or the Waltons. I like to have a good Waltons night. Sometimes your heart and your soul just needs a good night of the Waltons. Just some good <coughs> Waltons music and talking and, or even a little bit of have a little house on the prairie. Y'all have a blessed night. Y'all be safe. Take care of yourselves. And as Mama was saying, God bless you and all. And have a good night. Love you. Bye-bye.